Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion we're off to the Melton Viaduct, which is a railway viaduct southwest of the city of Melton and is about an hour drive from the Melbourne CBD Central Business District of Victoria. The 357 metre or 1,171 feet viaduct carries the Serviston Railway Line over the Werribee River, now dammed to create the Melton Reservoir. The girder and trestle viaduct was built in 1885 by the Victorian Railways to establish a direct rail route between the cities of Melbourne and Ballarat. The ironworks for the bridge was brought over from England at the cost of £120,000, which is about 6.5 million Australian dollars today, and was erected sort of like a Meccano set, and 200 men were employed to put it all together. When built, it was the second largest metal truss bridge in Australia after the Murrable Railway Viaduct in the 1860s that is also in Victoria near Geelong. Now, if anyone wants me to go visit that, I think I can actually get access to it, but uh, leave a comment and let me know if you're interested in seeing that one as well. The viaduct uh, here in Melton was uh, listed with the Victorian Heritage Registrar in 2013.
Now, just a quick note, if you are going to come to the river's edge, um, I suggest that you have a four-wheel drive of sorts. Otherwise, um, you'll see some other cars that have parked up the top and they walk down. But uh, it's definitely a place for four-wheel drives, definitely a place for motorbikes. Your two-wheel drives, mm, not so much. But uh, more importantly, bring your kayaks, bring your fishing rods, uh, bring a good book to read. Uh, and if you're a fan of trains, uh, you'll see the train going over the bridge quite often. I think it's every half an hour or so. Uh, depends on the day or the weekend. But yeah, absolutely. It's a great little fun place to come. Even if you've got some uh, remote control uh, speed boats or little sailing boats, another good place. And I'm not 100% sure, but I can't see why you couldn't put a jet ski in this area. Um, but you better check with the, uh, uh, the authorities whether or not you can put a jet ski there. But it is a big place. Um, and there's a lot of water. When I've got there, obviously, we've just had a big downpour in Melbourne. That's why the uh, water is so high.
once again we've come to the end of the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, by all means, please give us that thumbs up. Um, also, subscribe. It doesn't cost you one cent. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe, and try to have a great day.